Uh, the private play setup called Two and a Half Zombies is based off a TV show called Two and a Half Men. You can find an Arctic Trooper trapped in ice on Great White North. If you throw a sombrero beam bomb under at the sticker shop while using retro gatling, and this happens. The zoologist is porcupine will have less quills uh, depending on your ammo. On a great white north, a point one has no pots at all. The archaeologist has coins falling out of its backpack. There are flies swarming around at the zombie's trash. The Torchwood's default appearance has a different pose than his costume pose. When the zombie yeti is vanquished, he explodes into gears. This could lead to a theory that the zombie yeti is a robot. This sign says no parking, however there is a van right in front of it. Park Ranger shots will fire exactly where you aim it, no matter what. The SB class has a cosmetic called a B. Jordan Beanie. This is a reference to another PopCap game called Peggle. The gnome backyard item has a zombie background, which makes it look really funny when decorating the plant's backyard. The future cactus can't jump about charging, but Plasma P can. Thanks, PopCap. In the pea shooters renders, you can see a white square in their eyes. Have fun. Miss Frankenstein, it's alive! It's alive! If you stand far away, you can make this a, a kernel corn bald. The computer scientist's a description and doesn't mention crunch mode also gives him a defense boost. Thanks, PopCap. When a goal is scored, the scoreboard will respond to the following. If you warp as a scientist, you can make this gap. If warp is activated right as you go into a cannon, as this happens, it's possible to heroic kick a single plant twice. There is a backyard item called the Tactical Cuke. This is a reference to the Garden Warfare 1 map Main Street. Rhodey Z's backpack makes a lot of noise. When flying out of a cannon, you could uh, destroy uh, these bushes. Reg Soldier's weapon has a shoe on the end of it. Captain Deadbeard has a taunt called Barrel Balance. Uh, this taunt uh, corresponds to the barrel ability uh, you have equipped it. Uh, the reload upgrade affects uh, the pitch of the character's voices. The Electro Brains is the only Super Brains that can punch in a combo of 5. The Scientist could warp through the crazy target's wall. If you throw a Stink Cloud and then immediately swap to plants, it will damage zombies. Camel Cactus's private play render is really dark. When the soccer field is active, you gain a jump and speed increase. The character booth in the Crazy Targets Arena has a different lighting compared to the Hub World character booth. The zombies have license plates, while the plants have human license plates. This only confirms that zombies could drive, but plants cannot. When a computer scientist jumps, he has a unique sound effect. Jumping into this water it kills you. In the a tutorial level, uh, the foot soldier does a taunt, uh, which is not even possible to obtain in Gone for Two. Thanks, PopCap. If you go into uh, these settings and enable toggle zoom, uh, you can use Super Brain's beam in the air. If you go behind uh, the crazy target's range, uh, you can find a nice shiny chest. Colonel Corn uh, could jump uh, uh, while using Chuck Shot. However, uh, the foot soldiers cannot. A Captain Squawk has a hole in his pants. Oh, what a loser. Sky Trooper's primary is called a Danger Zone. This might be a reference to the song Highway to the Danger Zone. The EMP ability takes one second to fully launch. You could equip a burrow on Unicorn Chomper. Why? A regular pea shooter is called pea shooter, but the rest of its variants use the word P. Heh, P. Scuba Soldier's weapon is based off of a submarine. A doctor patient's hands don't move during his idle stance. A potato nugget mines could be stacked on top of each other. This only proves that they are the better option. When checking the crazy target's leaderboard, you are invincible to anything in the game. 